a Wikivide Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Darren Aronofsky Darren Aronofsky is an American filmmaker. He has received acclaim and generated controversy for his often surreal and disturbing films. Aronofsky attended Harvard University, where he studied film and social anthropology, and the American Film Institute where he studied directing. He won several film awards after completing his senior thesis film, Supermarket Sweep which went on to become a National Student Academy Award finalist. Aronofsky's feature debut, the surrealist psychological thriller by, was shot in November 1997. The low-budget, $60,000 production, starring Sean Goulet, was sold to Artisan Entertainment for $1 million, and grossed over $3 million. Aronofsky won the directing award at the 1998 Sundance Film Festival and an Independent Spirit Award for Best First Screenplay. Aronofsky's follow-up, the psychological drama Requiem for a Dream, was based on the novel of the same name by Hubert Selby. Junior the film garnered strong reviews and received an Academy Award nomination for Ellen Burstein's performance. The film also generated considerable controversy due to the graphic nature of several scenes, and was eventually released unrated. After writing the World War II horror film Below, Aronofsky began production on his third film, the romantic fantasy sci-fi drama The Fountain. The film received mixed reviews and performed poorly at the box office, but has since garnered a cult following. His fourth film, the sports drama The Wrestler, was released to critical acclaim and both of the film's stars, Mickey Rourke and Marissa Tomei, received Academy Award nominations. In 2010 Aronofsky was an executive producer on The Fighter and his fifth feature film, the psychological horror film Black Swan, received further critical acclaim and many accolades, being nominated for five Academy Awards including Best Picture and Best Director and winning Best Actress for Natalie Portman's performance in the film. Aronofsky received nominations for Best Director at the Golden Globes, and a Directors Guild of America Award nomination. Aronofsky's sixth film, the biblically inspired epic Noah, was released in theaters on March 28, 2014. Noah grossed over $43.7 million during its opening box office weekend, becoming Aronofsky's highest opening weekend and his first film to open at number one. The film was an international hit, eventually grossing over $362 million worldwide. His seventh film, The Psychological Horror Mother, was released to theaters on September 15, 2017, by Paramount Pictures. The film sparked controversy upon release due to its biblical allegories and depiction of violence and polarized audiences. Early Life and Education Aronofsky was born in Brooklyn, New York, the son of teachers Charlotte and Abraham Aronofsky, and grew up in the borough's Manhattan Beach neighborhood. He said he was raised culturally Jewish, but there was very little spiritual attendance in temple. It was a cultural thing, celebrating the holidays, knowing where you came from, knowing your history, having respect for what your people have been through. He graduated from Edward R. Murrow High School. He has one sister, Patty, who attended a professional ballet school through high school. His parents would often take him to Broadway theater performances, which sparked his keen interest in show business. During his youth, he trained as a field biologist with the school for field studies in Kenya in 1985 and Alaska in 1986. He attended school in Kenya to pursue an interest in learning about ungulates. He later said, Tihi school for field studies changed the way I perceived the world. Aronofsky's interest in the outdoors led him to backpack his way through Europe and the Middle East. In 1987, he entered Harvard University, where he majored in social anthropology and studied filmmaking. He graduated in 1991. He became seriously interested in film while attending Harvard after befriending Dan Schrecker, an aspiring animator, and Sean Goulet, who would go on to star in Aronofsky's first film, Pi. His cinematic influences included Akira Kurosawa, Roman Polanski, Terry Gilliam, Shinya Sukamoto, Hubert Selby Jr. Spike Lee, Satoshi Kon, and Jim Jarmusch. Aronofsky's senior thesis film, Supermarket Sweep, was a finalist in the 1991 Student Academy Awards. In 1992, Aronofsky received his MFA degree in directing from the AFI Conservatory, 
where his classmates included Todd Field, Doug Ellen, Scott Silver, and Mark Waters. He won the Institute's Franklin J. Schaffner Alumni Medal. Early Work Aronofsky's debut feature, Bi, also written as Bi, was shot in November 1997. The film was financed in part from $100 donations from friends and family. In return, he promised to pay each back $150 if the film made money, and they would at least get screen credit if the film lost money. Producing the film with an initial budget of $60,000, Aronofsky premiered Pi at the 1998 Sundance Film Festival, where he won the Best Director Award. The film itself was nominated for a Special Jury Award. Artisan Entertainment bought distribution rights for $1 million. The film was released to the public later that year to critical acclaim and it grossed a total of $3,221,152 at the box office. Pi was the first film to be made available for download on the internet. Aronofsky followed his debut with Requiem for a Dream, a film based on Hubert Selby Jr.'s novel of the same name. He was paid $50,000 and worked for three years with nearly the same production team as his previous film. Following the financial breakout of Pi, he was capable of hiring established actors, including Ellen Burstyn and Jared Leto, and received a budget of $3,500,000 to produce the film. Production of the film occurred over the period of one year, with the film being released in October 2000. The film went on to gross $7,390,108 worldwide. Aronofsky received acclaim for his stylish direction and was nominated for another Independent Spirit Award, this time for Best Director. The film itself was nominated for five awards in total, winning two for Best Actress and Cinematography. Clint Mansell's soundtrack for the film was also well regarded, and since their first collaboration in 1996, Mansell has composed the music to every Aronofsky film. Ellen Burstyn was nominated for numerous awards, including for an Academy Award for Best Actress, and won the Independent Spirit Award. Aronofsky was awarded the PRISM Award from the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation with the National Institute on Drug Abuse, for the film's depiction of drug abuse. In May 2000, Aronofsky was briefly attached to make an adaptation of David Wiesner's 1999 children's book Sector 7 for Nickelodeon movies. The project remains unmade. In mid-2000, Warner Brothers hired Aronofsky to write and direct Batman, Year One, which was to be the fifth film in the Batman franchise. Aronofsky, who collaborated with Frank Miller on an unproduced script for Ronin, brought Miller to co-write Year One with him, intending to reboot the series. It's somewhat based on the comic book. Aronofsky later said, Toss out everything you can imagine about Batman. Everything. We're starting completely anew. Regular Aronofsky collaborator Matthew Libertique was set as cinematographer, and Aronofsky had also approached Christian Bale for the role of Batman. Bale later would be cast in the role for Batman Begins. After that project failed to develop, Aronofsky declined the opportunity to direct an entry in the Batman franchise. In March 2001, he helped write the screenplay to the horror film Below, which he also produced. In April 2001, Aronofsky entered negotiations with Warner Brothers and Village Roadshow to direct a then-untitled science fiction film, with Brad Pitt in the lead role. In June 2001, actress Kate Blanchett entered talks to join the film, which Aronofsky, wanting the title to remain secret, had given the working title of The Last Man. Production was postponed to wait for a pregnant Blanchett to give birth to her child in December 2001. Production was ultimately set for late October 2002 in Queensland and Sydney. By now officially titled The Fountain, the film had a budget of $70 million, co-financed by Warner Brothers and New Regency, which had filled the gap after Village Roadshow withdrew. Pitt left the project seven weeks before the first day of shooting, halting production. In February 2004, Warner Brothers resurrected it on a $35 million budget with Hugh Jackman in the lead role. In August, actress Rachel Weisz filled the vacancy left by Blanchett. The Fountain was released on November 22, 2006, a day before the American Thanksgiving holiday. Ultimately it grossed $15,978,422 in theaters worldwide. Audiences and critics were divided in their responses to it. 
breakthrough. In 2007, Aronofsky hired writer Scott Silver to develop the fighter with him. He had approached actor Christian Bale for the film. But Aronofsky dropped out, because of its similarities to The Wrestler and to work on MGM's Robocop remake. In July 2010, Aronofsky had left the project due to uncertainty over the financially distressed studio's future. When asked about the film, he said, I think I'm still attached. I don't know. I haven't heard from anyone in a while. Later during 2007, Aronofsky said he was planning to film a movie about Noah's Ark and saw Aronofsky had the idea for the wrestler for over a decade. He hired Robert D. Siegel to turn his idea into a script. The actor Nicolas Cage entered negotiations in October 2007 to star as Randy, the film's protagonist. The following month Cage left the project, and Mickey Rourke replaced him in the lead role. Aronofsky said that Cage pulled out of the movie, because Aronofsky wanted Rourke to star. Aronofsky said, stating that Cage was a complete gentleman, and he understood that my heart was with Mickey and he stepped aside. I have so much respect for Nick Cage as an actor and I think it really could have worked with Nick but, you know, Nick was incredibly supportive of Mickey and he is old friends with Mickey and really wanted to help with this opportunity. So he pulled himself out of the race. Cage responded, I wasn't quote dropped from the movie. I resigned from the movie because I didn't think I had enough time to achieve the look of the wrestler who was on steroids, which I would never do. The roughly 40-day shoot began in January 2008. The wrestler premiered at the 65th Venice International Film Festival. Initially receiving little attention, the film wound up winning the Golden Lion, the highest award at the world's oldest film festival. The wrestler received critical acclaim, and both Rourke and co-star Marissa Tomei received Academy Award, Golden Globe, SAG, and BAFTA nominations for their performances. Rourke won a Golden Globe, as did Bruce Springsteen for his original song written for the film. The wrestler grossed $44,674,354 worldwide on a budget of $6 million making it Aronofsky's highest grossing film to that point. Aronofsky's next film was Black Swan, which had been in development since 2001. A psychological thriller horror film about a New York City ballerina. The film starred actress Natalie Portman, whom Aronofsky had known since 2000. She introduced Aronofsky to Mila Kunis, who joined the cast in 2009. Black Swan had its world premiere as the opening film at the 67th Venice Film Festival on October 2010. It received a standing ovation whose length variety said made it one of the strongest Venice openers in recent memory. Black Swan has received high praise from film critics and received a record 12 Broadcast Film Critics Association nominations, 4 Independent Spirit Award nominations, 4 Golden Globe nominations, 3 SAG nominations, and many more accolades. Aronofsky received a Golden Globe nomination for Best Director. The film broke limited release box office records and grossed an unexpectedly high $329,398,046. On January 25, 2011, the film was nominated for a total of five Academy Awards. Best Picture, Best Director, Best Actress, Best Cinematography and Best Film Editing and in March, Portman won as Best Actress. The film was awarded the PRISM Award from the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration for its depiction of mental health issues. Aronofsky served as an executive producer on The Fighter, which was also nominated for Best Picture at the Oscars and won two for Best Supporting Actor and Best Supporting Actress for Christian Bale and Melissa Leo. Larger Budget Productions Aronofsky was attached to The Wolverine, which was scheduled to begin production in March 2011, but he left the project due to scheduling issues. The film was set to be sixth entry of the X-Men film series, featuring a story revolving around Wolverine's adventures in Japan. In December 2011, Aronofsky directed the music video for Lou Red and Metallica's The View, from their album Lulu. Aronofsky was set to direct an HBO series pilot called Hobgoblin. Announced on June 16, 2011, the series would have depicted a group of magicians and con artists who use their powers of deception to defeat Hitler during World War II. He was set to work on the project, with Pulitzer Prize-winning author Michael Shabon and his wife Eilert Waldman. In June 2013, 
it was announced that HBO had dropped the show, and Aronofsky had pulled out, as well. In 2011, Aronofsky tried to launch production on Noah, a retelling of the Bible story of Noah's Ark, projected for a $115 million budget. By the following year, the film had secured funding and distribution from New Regency and Paramount Pictures, with Russell Crowe hired for the title role. The film was adapted into a serialized graphic novel written by Aronofsky and Ari Handel, published in French in October 2011 by the Belgian publisher Le Lombard. By July 2012, Aronofsky's crews were building an arc set in Oyster Bay, Long Island, New York. Aronofsky announced the start of filming on Noah on Twitter in the same month, tweeting shots of the filming in Iceland. The film featured Emma Watson, Anthony Hopkins, Logan Learman, and Jennifer Connelly, with the latter having also starred in Requiem for a Dream. During its opening weekend, Noah held the largest non-sequel opening within Russia and Brazil, and the fourth largest opening of all time. Aronofsky did not use live animals for the film, saying in a Peter video that, there's really no reason to do it anymore, because the technology has arrived. The Sous gave him their inaugural Humane Filmmaker Award in honor of his use of computer-generated animals. Aronofsky's next film, Mother, was released by Paramount Pictures on September 15, 2017. It stars Jennifer Lawrence, Javier Bardem, Michelle Pfeiffer, Donald Gleason, Ed Harris, and Kristen Wiig. The film sparked controversy upon release for its depiction of violence, and, though it received generally positive reviews, it polarized audiences, becoming one of few films to receive a F cinema score grade on review aggregator Rotten Tomatoes. The film has an approval rating of 69% based on 278 reviews, and an average rating of 6 8 tenths. The site's critical consensus reads, there's no denying that Mother is the thought-provoking product of a singularly ambitious artistic vision, though it may be too unwieldy for mainstream tastes. Directing Style Aronofsky's first two films, Pi and Requiem for a Dream, were low-budget and used montages of extremely short shots, also known as hip-hop montages. While an average 100-minute film has 600 to 700 cuts Requiem for a Dream features more than 2,000. Split screen is used extensively, along with extremely tight close-ups, long tracking shots, including those shot with an apparatus strapping a camera to an actor, called the Snorri Cam, and time-lapse photography are also prominent stylistic devices. Often, with his films, Aronofsky alternates between extreme close-ups and extreme wide shots to create a sense of isolation. With The Fountain, Aronofsky restricted the use of computer-generated imagery. Henrik Fett, the visual effects supervisor of Look Effects, said, Darren was quite clear on what he wanted and his intent to greatly minimize the use of computer graphics, and, I think the results are outstanding. He used more subtle directing in The Wrestler and Black Swan, in which a less visceral directing style better showcases the acting and narratives. Aronofsky filmed both works with a muted palette, and a grainy style. Part of this consistent style involves collaborations with frequent partner cinematographer Matthew Libertyk editor Andrew Weisblum and composer Clint Mansell. Mansell's music is an often important element of the films. Themes and Influences Pi features several references to mathematics and mathematical theories. In a 1998 interview, Aronofsky acknowledged several influences for Pi. The visual style of Pi and Requiem for a Dream features numerous similarities to Tetsuo. The Iron Man, the majority of reviewers characterized Requiem for a Dream in the genre of drug movies, along with films like The Basketball Diaries, Train Spotting, Spun, and Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. But, Aronofsky placed his movie in a wider context, saying, Dream logic is another leitmotif. With his friend Ari Handel, Aronofsky developed the plot for The Fountain. The director wrote the screenplay. In 1999, Aronofsky thought that The Matrix redefined the science fiction genre in film. He sought to make a science fiction film that explored new territory, as did The Matrix and its predecessors Star Wars and 2001, A Space Odyssey. He wanted to go beyond science fiction films with plots driven by technology and science. 
In the Toronto International Film Festival interview conducted by James Rokey, Aronofsky credited the 1957 Charles Mingus song, The Clown, as a major influence on The Wrestler. It is an instrumental piece, with a poem read over the music about a clown who accidentally discovers the bloodlust of the crowds and eventually kills himself in performance. Aronofsky called Black Swan a companion piece to The Wrestler recalling one of his early projects about a love affair between a wrestler and a ballerina. He eventually separated the wrestling and the ballet worlds, considering them as too much for one movie. He compared the two films, wrestling some consider the lowest art, if they would even call it art, and ballet some people consider the highest art. But what was amazing to me was how similar the performers in both of these worlds are. They both make incredible use of their bodies to express themselves. About the psychological thrill and nature of Black Swan, actress Natalie Portman compared the film's tone to Polanski's 1968 film Rosemary's Baby, while Aronofsky said Polanski's Repulsion and The Tenant were big influences on the final film. Actor Vincent Cassel also compared Black Swan to Polanski's early films, commenting that it was also influenced by Alejandro Jodorowsky's movies and David Cronenberg's early work. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you like to know more?